All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And um, this one uh, is an article which I had dug up. Uh, basically, um, I dug it up to uh, tie it up with this video from R.O.T. that just came out. But it has really um, nothing to do with each other. But in a sense, it does, if that makes sense. All right, because this uh, uh, it says, uh, as you read here in this article, it says the Israeli prime minister proposes microchipping children to enforce social distancing. And I remember the guy, um, Netanyahu, in Israel, he did a speech and he, he had proposed that they should just chip children, you know, microchip them. So I dug this article up. This was dated 8th, uh, May 8th, 2020. Uh, I'll read a little bit here. It says, at the press conference, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu suggested that microchipping everyone, beginning with children, returning to school, and kindergarten as the CO lockdown ends. It says, the chip would sound an alarm whenever anyone gets too close much as a car does security experts immediately objected on the grounds that microchipping kids was neither legal nor practical that the children would be at risk from pedophiles if their data leaked to the internet and that the real issue is enforcement you see you know they you know everything is moving fast Wait till you see this next video from ROT. All right. That the uh, airports are closed. But when they open back up, there's a new system. And everything is geared toward. Um, you could say. Uh, everything is geared toward this B system. Okay. Which deals with um, microchipping. It deals with uh, transferring information from the body to a device all right it's all about tracking okay so e is a uh, he's a uh, he's on a power a power trip for power and control for more power and control all right so i just wanted to leave i wanted to speak on this article before i play the video because it sort of links up you know the goal is is to uh microchip you but there's stages before they just come right all out and and make and make it forceful to microchip you. All right, which we of the knowing, all right, us of the whole for elect, all right, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we know that the microchip is the mark of the beast. All right, whether it's a narrow link brain chip or whether it's a RFID chip that goes inserted up under the body. Then we have the DARPA hydrogel biosensor and plantable nanochip that appears to be slated for the upcoming that the U.S. Department of Defense and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation have partnered with Profusa, a Silicon Valley company to manufacture. And just for the sake of uh, edification, let me just read the scripture, which is everyone should know, all right? This is very famous and Everyone should know. This is Revelations 13 and uh, 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right? Because eventually you're going to need a microchip. All right? Just keep that in mind when you watch um, this clip coming up. It says, And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark, in their right hand or their foreheads, whether it's a neural link, whether it's an RFID chip, or whatever name they want to put out there for a microchip to be inserted or or um, implanted in in your body. All right. And uh, that mark goes back to Karak's. All right, Karagma. Okay, you can look that up. 
verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay, because it's going to end up, the goal is that the way you buy and sell will have to be through um, your digital uh, implantable microchip device. All right. It says, and that no man might buy, sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him to have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, his number is 603 score and 6, which that goes into Chi Phi stigma. You look up the word stigma, it means to prick, all right? Something directly stabbed into the, you know, the, the object, all right? Which you are the object, okay? So, you know, with that, I'll just roll a clip. And um, all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Wadash, uh, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom. You see behind me, it's largely deserted. There are four flights that are scheduled to arrive this afternoon, and passengers on those flights will be part and parcel of a new pilot program that is being launched today and which is hugely controversial. A year ago, one would not have imagined that we'd be in this situation. Now, when you arrive in Israel, you have one of two choices. Either you quarantine in an army hotel, or you can go home and do a home quarantine for 10 days, but now you have to go home with an electric electronic monitoring system. This entails wearing an electronic bracelet either around your wrist or your ankle. Now, this bracelet is part of a tracking system. It's connected to a smartphone, which is connected to a sticker that is placed on one of the walls of a person's home. The company monitoring the whole system will receive some kind of signal the moment the person steps foot out of their home. So it's a way to try and stop people breaking home quarantine. And it's also a way for the Israelis to reopen the skies and return to some kind of normality. The company that has designed the technology says that everything is safe and that people should not be worried. In fact, it is not as intrusive this technology as other apps that are currently being used in Israel. The company has also stressed the point that it's not monitoring any kind of personal information. It's not recording any information and at the same time it's not taking pictures. It's also said that the bracelet is, to quote, comfortable, that it is efficient, that people won't even know that they have it on them. It's very light and it's waterproof. They've actually gone so far as to call it a freedom bracelet, saying that it gives passengers arriving in Israel the choice to do an army hotel quarantine or a home quarantine. Having said all of that, it still hasn't satisfied many people who are critical of the whole program. Asking travelers to choose between military-enforced quarantine motel and an electronic bracelet, I don't even know where to start with this. It is a nightmare happening at warp speed and trialed in Israel before its global debut. Israel launches pilot program to track returning passengers using electronic bracelets. And the Knesset passed a law allowing disclosing identities of unvaccinated to authorities. Watch how the pandemic continues to erode any semblance of civil rights. Now, land and air borders here in Israel have been closed since January, and at this point in time, they will remain closed for at least another two weeks. The only people being allowed into the country are stranded Israelis abroad. An independent organization, the Israel Democracy Institute, is a watchdog and is worried about the direction in which this country is headed. A concern is that the erosion of the rights affected is not proportionate, but rather extreme, even in view of the current health challenge. The extreme changes in policy from one of a fully open airport to a complete closure without warning, catching unaware citizens who traveled abroad lawfully with the full expectation that they would be able to return and without giving them a chance to prepare accordingly, creates intolerable human situations. Now, the pilot system sees 100 tracking systems being issued. There is a plan in place to expand this to 1,000, but that depends on legislation. We've also heard from the health ministry that they haven't ruled out the possibility of reintroducing monitoring people's cell phones. And that was something that the Israeli internal security, the Shin Bet, was involved in last year, but it also proved to be hugely controversial.